What up with it, ladies and gentlemen? What it do? It's your boy, once again, your big dog, G to the Q, Q to the T, Q Town, and I'm coming at you again, once again, with another brand new shoe review. And man, we got a certified classic on our hands today, ladies and gentlemen. We might as well just ring the bell. Bing, 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 bing. Certified classic on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. But before we get to that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Why? Because it's free. And you know you want to stay up to date with all of this drip that I'm dropping on this channel and I'm reviewing on this channel. You know you want to stay up to date with it. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button just so you in the loop, you know? And go ahead and um, drop a comment in this video. Just let me know how good of a job I'm doing reviewing these shoes because you already know. I already know. So just drop a comment. You can say anything, honestly. Just say what up. Say yeah, those is fly. Say anything and we'll have a nice little conversation about it. So I appreciate that. And again, also hit a thumbs up on this video because you already know it's free and it helps other people see the video. So anybody that's interested in the same type of thing, they can see this video too. YouTube will recommend it to them and everybody gets the information and everybody get what they need. So go ahead, hit that thumbs up so we can all stay fresh and we can all stay up to date on all of these new releases. So now that we got that out the way, man, I, like I said, we got a certified classic on our hands today. And this shoe, this is the shoe that I wanted since I was a little kid, the silhouette. I've always wanted this silhouette since I was a little kid and I was never able to get my hands on it when I was a kid. So. I'm excited today. I'm excited today. But before I take them out of the box, we got we got the Reebok Question Mid in the i3 Motorsport colorway. And that sounds like some fancy shit to me. If you ask me, that sounds like some fancy shit. But you got the uh, size 10 and a half. You got the colors right there, black, silver, black, you know, all of that. Um, yeah, it's just a box. You already know, I have a box. But, what we really want to see. <clears throat> is the shoe. Because this is where the action is right here. And this thing, if you ask me, is fire. And I mean fire. Like five fire emojis on this thing. Like I need to put that on the thumbnail. Like five fire emojis just to just to signify how hot these shoes are. Cause look at this. And I would compare these to, you know, the um, the silver toe Jordan ones, which I got to. And honestly, if I if I had to pick a favorite between these and the silver toe Jordan ones, I I'm probably go with these right here. To be real with you, just because the the nostalgia and everything, you know. The, of course, the Jordan one is a classic. Nobody forgets the Jordan one. But this one right here, this is like one of them rare classics. Like you don't see a lot of people hopping out in these right here. And you know, that's why I like these because you don't see a lot of people hopping out in them. And of course, because I always wanted them as well. So let's, we can go over the materials. Um, we got some nice silver patent leather right here. And the patent leather is not like super shiny. So it's, it's kind of, it kind of looks just like a regular leather, but it just has a slight shine to it. So we got some, some silver patent leather right here. Uh, we got some black. I actually thought that this was regular leather when I first got these, but this is a new buck material, kind of like a real soft new buck material right there. So that's pretty cool. We got some um, like mesh materials uh, here and there. It's not a lot of them, just like this little part right here is made of mesh. Um, this right, this right here actually is leather. So you got a, you got quite a few different materials on here, but they all come together and they don't look bad or nothing like that. One material don't stick out from the other one too much, so it just look nice and clean and flush. And you got that classic Reebok logo right there. <laughs> that's the that's pretty that's probably my favorite part of this shoe, just that they got that classic Reebok logo right there. So um, the midsole, just regular midsole. This is also uh, like the silver material. It's not the best match with the tops. But of course, when they on your feet, nobody's really gonna care. Nobody's gonna notice <laughs> that it's a slight difference between the midsole and the um, and the leather on the top. Another thing that I like about these, if you look at the front, you got that nice rubber right here, that, that translucent rubber. 
I fucks with that hard and it goes all the way to the bottom. So you got that nice translucent uh, rubber, but you can probably not gonna have to worry about that turning yellow too much because it is that like smoke color. Because if it's regular clear, then it'll turn yellow over time. But for the smoke color, I don't think that's gonna turn yellow over time. Like you have to have these for some years before that really starts to show yellow. So I like that most definitely. This is just like a nostalgic shoe for me. Just everything about this shoe. I always wanted to have this shoe right here. And I'm so glad I got it. Uh, I do plan on getting other colorways of this same silhouette too. I don't know what happened to my hang tag. I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> but yeah, it comes with a little hang tag on there like the Yeezys. But somehow mine disappeared somewhere, whatever. We'll find it somewhere. But really about the shoe. Oh, you see the back? You got that classic three right there, and you got that classic question. Man, that's another one of my favorite parts about this shoe is how they took the Reebok logo and made the Q out of it, because you already know this is your big boy Q. <laughs> but yeah, they took the they they made a Q out of the Reebok logo. So that's always been a cool thing to me. So the back, the back on the ass of this thing is always gonna be fly. So whoever's standing behind you, they gonna get hit with a whole lot of drip. <laughs> But um, on the front right here, we got just some regular mesh. So regular black mesh is actually some like some nice mesh, but it's real like uh, perforated. So it's a, the holes in it is real big, kind of like like a jersey. So speaking of jerseys, I got the I got the Sixers jersey on. You know, I had to rock it because it got the silver in it, and it go perfectly with these. So I had to rock that with it. Speaking of speaking of the the jersey. Um, and then you just got your regular leather at the top, Reebok logo. So it's pretty standard, pretty cool, but I just like the fact that how they put the colors together and everything like that. It kind of reminds me of a Jordan 11, but at the same time, like kind of better than a Jordan 11. The reason why I would say that these are a little bit better than the Jordan 11 is because every pair of Jordan 11s that I've ever bought, uh, they always end up squeaking. And I'm not a type of person where I like my shoes to squeak. So I've kind of been steering away from the Jordan 11s just for that because I bought them over and over and over. And within maybe a few wears or something like that, they'll start squeaking. And it's like, who want to be walking around with a shoe that look brand new on and then it's squeaking all up and down everywhere you go? It's like, <laughs> nobody want to worry about that. So... In my opinion, this is slightly better than the Jordan 11, and I do expect this to hold up better than the Jordan 11 because I don't expect to have that same squeaking problem because mainly I just have that problem with Jordan 11s because they do have that translucent sole, and I don't know. For some reason, they just didn't incorporate the translucent sole into the Jordan 11s all that good, so they always end up squeaking. And I'm not the only one with that problem. You can look on YouTube and type it in and you'll probably see hundreds and hundreds of videos of people talking about their Jordan 11 squeaking. And it looked like a brand new shoe fresh out the box, but the shoe squeaking like a mug. So I ain't trying to deal with that. <laughs> not saying that I won't buy no more Jordan 11s at all, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of steering clear of them right for right now. We'll see what's the next pair of Jordan 11s that I buy. But back to the question, me it. I3 Motorsports. Um, it's just a just a classic dope shoe, like a new a new a new colorway to a dope classic silhouette. And you know that's what I like. I always like when they redo the classics, you know, because I'm just a classic dude. You see me, I got the Sixers jersey on, you know, gotta represent for for the man AI. But yeah, so that's the Reebok. Question me, Motorsports, I3 Motorsports. I'm gonna go ahead, put these things on feet, hit y'all with the on um, foot just so y'all can see how these things rock with the outfit that I'm wearing. I got the um, I got the Sixers jersey on. I got some some light wash jeans, some light some light gray wash jeans. So that's a little bit different than you know just the regular light wash jeans. So it's gonna set these off real good. The light gray wash jeans mixed with this right here set it off real good. We can. We can give it a comparison, as y'all can see. That thing sets it off. But yeah, I'm about to throw these on foot for y'all, just so y'all can see how they look, and then we're gonna be done with it. But once again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit a thumbs up on this video because you know these things is fire. You know these things is fire. Drop a comment in the comment section. If you don't think these things is fire, drop the comment in the comment section like those is trash. 
and then me and you gonna have a debate about that because <laughs> these things is straight fire. Or if you got another shoe that you feel like is similar but it looks better, go ahead, drop it in the comment section and we'll, we'll talk about, uh, we'll debate about which one is better. But hit the bell notification too so you could be updated anytime that I upload a video because like I said, this, this is just drip every time. Every time I upload, it's gonna be drip. You know it's gonna be fire. So go ahead and hit that bell notification just so you stay up to date on everything that we got going on on this channel. Because I'm telling you, we about to go to the moon, to the stars. We about to go all the way up on this channel. Mark my words, save this video because what I say is fact. We about to go all the way to the stars on this channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all with the own foot. I ain't gonna talk to y'all no more. <laughs> I'm gonna hit y'all with the own foot. Once again, this has been another episode of GQ Reviews with your boy, your big dog. G to the Q, Q to the T, Q Town. out of here i just wanted to say that the name i3 motorsports is actually um comes from the fact that these shoes are inspired by uh bike riders they was inspired and made for motorcycle riders so that's where the name i3 motorsports comes from which is pretty cool for me because uh even though i don't ride bikes or nothing like that just to know that they making shoes you know specifically aimed at people that that ride motorcycles that's pretty cool to me and the fact that the colorway is what it is, it kind of it kind of goes hand in hand with it. So you know, I appreciate that fact. But like I said, it is uh, the name comes from the fact that the shoe is designed for and inspired by motorcycle riders. So that's where the name I3 Motorsports comes from. <laughs>